So we're installing the Windows 8 consumer preview. This is the first screen we see. We have a fishy and that evil swirly thing of doom. I don't know what it is. I'll stick to the swirly thing of doom. And it's gone. And we have a big blue screen in a good way, maybe. We can only hope. Yeah, it's pretty blank. There's nothing on it. Windows 8. United States, no. United Kingdom, please. English United States or English United States. Okay, I'll take English United States. Time and currency format. Will you let me have United Kingdom on that? English Zimbabwe. Maybe if I go up a bit. There we go. And United Kingdom. Next. Install now. I'm going to repair my computer. Repair Windows 7 for me, Windows 8. Perfect sense. Setup is starting. Yay! Finally. After all that waiting. Enter your product key. Okay. Again, you viewers probably can't see this, but I'm entering my product key. This is the same product key they gave to me on the website and on the end of the really, really long installer. Which you don't end up using anyway, because you want an ISO file. Imagine you can run Windows 8 without a product key, but as they're giving them away for free, it's worth a look. Uh, I accept. Next. Now we're going to custom. I want to install it on this drive. Unallocated space. See if there's any more drive options than there were before. Nope, it looks exactly the same. I wonder if it's still using the same installer as Vista in 7. And there we go, installing Windows. Looks pretty similar, I think. I'm expanding the Windows files, installing the features is new, updates is not, and almost done installing Windows. That's original. I couldn't have gathered that by the green bar at the bottom. I have hiccups. I'll we'll see how long this is going to take. We're at 1% so far. So I think again, I'll stop the video and stop the recording, and we'll skip forward to when it's finished. Installing updates. I'm now almost done installing Windows. We're restarting in 10 seconds. But I'll click that. And we're restarting now. Okay, we don't need to boot from CD because we've just installed it. We don't need to install it over the install. We have our Windows 8 Consumer Preview Fishy. And the swirly thing of doom. I assume this is the first time setup. Setup is up straight up there. Setup is updated registry settings. Yay! Because that means the world to the average computer user. Choose an operating system. I didn't get a chance. I want Windows 8. Are you loading Windows 8? Yay! Windows 8. Preparing. Should have probably disconnected my Windows 7 hard drive, but oh well. Getting devices ready. Come on, devices are now ready. I'm sure they are. Must be doing the graphics driver. Everything stopped. I'm gonna stop the recording. See if that brings my screen back. Okay, so it didn't bring my screen back. But what's happened is we've jumped from the resolution of 480p on the BIOS screen and the install screen to a 1080p connection. And my composite cables don't support 1080p; they only support up to 1080i. So I've had to switch to the camera. Sorry. 
So I'm sorry to have to switch to a camera, but the PVR is not playing ball at the moment. Oops, sorry. So we've got background colour and PC name here. You can choose whatever colour you want. Multiple colours, ranging from beige to blue. The green's a horrible green. Brown is just horrible. Okay, these are all horrible. Uh, I'll go with the dark blue. No, I won't. I'll stick with the default. Calling it Tom's PC. One word. Okay. Wireless. Get through some basics quickly by choosing Express Settings. This PC will occasionally send info to Microsoft to help things running smoothly. I'd rather customise it, I think. Make sure I know exactly what's going on. No, don't turn on sharing. Automatically get device drivers for new devices. No, thank you. Is there a slider? So no. There's a slider, but it just goes to yes or no. You can't put it in the middle and said sometimes. Uh, device apps, why not? Use it to explore a smart screen filter, check URLs. Yeah, that's fine. It's also fine. And I'll let you do that for the time being. Uh, say, help improve Windows Store by sending URLs for web content that apps use. Um, okay, well, I'll allow it. Help Microsoft respond to malicious apps and malware by joining Microsoft Active Protection Service. That's new. AP Maps. Maps. Microsoft Active Protection Service. Help improve Microsoft services by sending some location data with location aware apps are used. I'd, yeah. I rather didn't track me. Help improve Windows Help content by sending the help experience. Program. Yeah, like I'm going to use Windows Help. Never ever been useful. Get the latest troubleshooting packs. Yes, I can't turn error reporting off. So why give me the option? Explore a compatibility view, yeah that's fine. Let apps use my name and account picture. Okay, it's gonna be default. Turn on Windows location so apps can use that. Okay, fine. Sign into your PC. Use your email address as a Microsoft account to sign into the Windows 8 consumer preview. We won't send you spam. Okay. So use an email address to sign in. I'll use my Microsoft what? If we could type that was. Okay. We are now signing in. Please wait yet again. And my password now for my Microsoft Live account. Of course, it's not live on Windows 8, they've ditched that branding. Mobile phone. I'm not giving you my mobile number. Why would I give you my mobile number? I don't need to reset my password. Creating my account. How long will this take? It took forever to create an ISO. Finalising your settings. Tom Nichols, welcome. Preparing Windows. I'll switch back to the PBR as soon as I can play with the screen resolutions, which shouldn't be too long now. And I'll show you the whole Windows 8 experience. Preparing Windows is taking forever, as you would expect. Can't prepare an ISO, it has takes forever to repair, prepare Windows. Here we go. So I have two monitors set up here. We have this monitor and this monitor. I think that's been set as monitor 2. This has what you would call the taskbar at the bottom, down here. We have IE and libraries, and that changes it on that monitor, and yet it comes up on that monitor. How interesting. So we have two taskbars, but then one has this down here. And I think I can change screen resolution now. And finally, we are back. After a huge fight with Windows, we have the PBR recording, and I can see what I'm doing! Hurrah! Now the problem was, Windows normally doesn't go past 
this point here on the resolutions, whereas my PVR records in 720p. We have it on that, the warning goes away. But if we have it on 720p, it says the resolution is lower than blah. Some items might not fit and apps might not open. Delightful. Thank you, Windows, for almost getting rid of it. But double thank you to NVIDIA Control Panel, the reliable companion. So, thank you very much, NVIDIA. I've installed the NVIDIA driver so far, that's just it. Uh, when you press the start button on your keyboard, this is what you get. To get rid of it again, you press escape. Uh, I'll just get rid of the NVIDIA control panel and the system resolution. This is the Windows 8 desktop. It has pretty much the same features as the Windows 7 desktop. Screen res, gadgets, personalise. So I'll open up the gadgets, it's just the basic Windows 7 gadgets by the look of it. We'll get the CPU meter up. It's always fun to watch that thing. Down here we have your wireless, speakers, uh, removable devices, NVIDIA settings. So the main feature is the start menu. I can't... oh okay. You go. To, <laughs> you have to go right to the bottom right corner of the screen. You click that and you get start. We have store, maps, SkyDrive, remote desktop, reader, camera, messaging, weather, finance, calendar, mail, photos, people, desktop, Internet Explorer, Xbox Live games. Music, video, Pinball FX2 on the Xbox Live, Solitaire on Xbox Live, Xbox Companion, Windows Explorer, Disable 3D Vision, Enable 3D Vision, and more 3D Vision stuff from NVIDIA. Uh, so, desktop, that's just the normal desktop. We have Internet Explorer 10 down here. Looks very, very, very similar to Internet Explorer 9. I'm just going to make sure it is Internet Explorer 10. Come on, come on. Here we go. Yep, Internet Explorer 10 on the consumer preview. Very, very similar to Internet Explorer 9. Bring up our start menu again. Uh, the main thing they're pushing about this is the apps. So we'll go to the App Store. The screen resolution is too low for the app to run. Are you serious? Okay, so we'll come back to Store later. Maps, can't open it. SkyDrive, can't open it. Camera, can't open it. Reader, can't open it. Remote Desktop, can't open it. Xbox Live Games, no. Photos, no. People, no. Weather, no. Messaging, no. Desktop, we know. Calendar, no. Ow. Finance, no. Mail, no. Xbox Companion, no. Music. Why is the screen resolution too low for music? That makes no sense at all. Ah, <sighs> I see a long day. Okay, so screen resolution, we're no longer going to do this. What we're going to do is extend the displays. So bring them both back. Okay. Uh, currently like this. Yes. Okay. This one will be on 1080, which is the one I can see and you can't. And your one will be on 720. Okay, we'll try this. Oh no, this is the main resolution, so maybe it'll still work. Uh, <laughs> it's quite difficult to get the start menu open when you've got two monitors. Here we go. Open the store. No, it can't open. We've got to switch monitors. Ah. So I'll make this one the main display and I'll move it over once you can see it. Okay, start. Store. I can't actually move it over, it won't let me. So whilst I search for an alternate way to record Windows 8, let this be a warning to you, if your monitor doesn't go above 720p, you need a new monitor if you want Windows 8. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. New video as soon as possible.